I am here looking for the Comet Medal. So, my friend, are you going to help steer me in the direction of the Comet Medal? No, I do not want to know how to glide. Oh, shoot, I didn't mean to click that. Fluzzard is so grand. I love flying with him through the air in these gates. But unfortunately, I just don't know where that Comet Medal is. I can't remember when I did this the last time. I can't remember seeing it ever like I don't think it once crossed my mind because I was busy trying to learn the controls and be like all right how exactly does this work <laughs> honestly because I was like is this does this work like Skyward Sword do you go like up and down and side to side Skyward Sword obviously works much more better than this this is a bit more tricky to handle because you can't go up really with Skyward Sword if you just waggle the remote then you can fly upwards with this you can't really do that this is kind of a little bit more strange. You have to keep it flat, and he kind of does like a little semi kind of dive. But if you go it all the way down, then he does this like ridiculous dive where he goes insanely fast like that, and then you pick up speed, which is glorious. But at the same time, have I missed the comet medal? I do not even know, man. Where is this thing? Whoa, don't crash into the wall. That's not healthy for you. Neither is crash diving into cliffs. Huh. Okay, this is my second go-around. I still haven't seen anything, and I've taken my sweet time around these places. I I usually get the gates as well, because, I mean, they're hard to ignore. They're orange flashing gates. I mean, why not just pass right through them? <laughs> right, but I haven't seen the Comet Metal at any turn. There's no secret pathways or anything, so... Wait a second. <gasps> what? Oh! Wait, was that there before? Was it always there? Was it seriously there, and I had to dive bomb into the cliffs before I actually got the metal? How is it there? How did it just... Did, did I seriously miss that the last time and didn't even notice? It probably just appeared, and I was like, oh, well, I'm too busy trying to steer this thing properly to even take notice of a, of a comet metal right beside me. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Well, that's totally my bad. Alright, but that's another Comet Medal for us. Hopefully, this will unlock a little bit more. Because I think the Comet Medals add to like the Comet Stars so that they appear more frequently. I believe that's what it does. But next, as we are now done with World 2 and its Comet Medals, we can now progress onwards and see what awaits us. There's a Snow World and a Ghost World. Actually, I don't know which one to choose. They're both so intriguing. And there's a Luma just waiting out in the distance as well. So I think I will do the Hunty Halls Galaxy. Oh, wait, no. What is this one called? I will decide by name. Freezy Flake. Now, Hunty Halls sounds more genuine. It sounds like something that I should thrust myself into, like Mario just did. <laughs> Hunty Halls Galaxy. A glimmer of Bulberry. Haunty. Is that a word? <laughs> that sounds like something I would say, just like a pure nonsense word, like, Oh, honey, that looks really haunty. <laughs> oh, yeah, haunty Hall's Galaxy. But what I like so much about this is that it retains the same music from the... I don't know if it was Mario Bros. 3 or Mario World. It's one of the things where it's just like... Mm, it's so creepy, but my favorite part is when it's just like bum 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 dun 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 it's so creepy and i like the fact that they've kept this theme going because it was in mario 3d land i'm pretty sure it's gonna be in mario 3d world i mean it looks that way it's a very addicting theme it just represents ghost <laughs> in so many ways but some of the better ghost themes, to be honest with you, are probably found within Mario Kart. <laughs> Those are some of the more creepier ghost themes out of any of the Mario series. How did I... Oh, okay, so they just randomly leave traces of fire. That's nice to know. I wish I had known that sooner. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I almost have you now. Just wait right there, and I have gotten you. Ha <laughs> ha. Nice! So the pumpkin Goombas go down one hit. This is very suiting. We're doing a Hunty Hulls Galaxy when it's very close to Halloween. Not too shabby. I don't know about you guys, but I never dressed up as anything for Halloween. I think the only thing I ever dressed up was I wore a mask and it was basically the screen mask. That was it. I never really... I don't know. For some reason, I never really got into the whole trick-or-treating thing as a kid. 
And even, I, I stopped pretty early. The only thing I liked going for was the fact that I got free double bubble. Because I'll tell you something right now about myself. I am a gum addict. <laughs> if you want to know something about me, that is something about me. I chew gum every single day a lot. <laughs> like, you won't find me without a piece of gum in my mouth. I always am chewing gum. And that was one thing I loved about Halloween was that I got free double bubble for everybody. And you know what the funny thing was is as much as much as those gums contained sugar, my teeth never were really that bad. I never even got a cavity. Ever. It was kind of strange. Like, I don't know how that happened. Because for some people, I mean, that always happens. You just happen to get a cavity if you happen to like candy. <laughs> it's unfortunately the side effect that comes along with liking sugary substances. <laughs> but for me, that never happened. Wait, can I... Can I... Okay, maybe a path will come along that'll actually lead me there. Perfect. All right. Couldn't ask for... Oh, the comment medal's right there. And that will probably take me forward, so I kind of want to get the comment medal first. How dare you? I, I don't know the names of those enemies. What are those enemies called? I can't even... Oh! Oh, don't hurt me now, sons. <laughs> Jeez, I don't even remember the names of those enemies. They keep popping up. Like, I believe they were in... I think they were in Mario World. I want to say they were in... Because everything that I know about Mario is pretty much stemmed from Mario World. But, uh... It just... I can't remember where those guys appeared from. Did they appear in this game? I don't think they can't appear in this game. They've got to be old Mario enemies. I just don't know their names. They're definitely not Potaboos. You see... I always get Potaboos confused with those guys, but then I realize they're the fire enemies, so yeah, that really shouldn't lead to any confusion there. <laughs> but this is a neat mechanic, so every time you eat the Bulberry, your path of radiance gets stronger, so that's interesting. <laughs> Speaking of path of radiance, you know what's funny? That game, I, I only got for the reason that it's so rare! Oh my goodness! Good job, Yoshi. <laughs> you have saved me once again. I need to eat as many bold berries as I possibly can. Whew. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Okay, stop, 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 stop. With the coin co collecting, my goodness. You see, you're giving me all these coins. I have a feeling that there will be a coin luma at some point. Maybe there will be more interesting secrets. Because anytime you get a ghost house in a Mario game... Oh, I gotta find a bold berry quick! Oh my god, come here, bold berry! I'm going to get you! Woo I don't know! <laughs> Why did you have to appear now? That was such jerkish placement. My goodness. Alright, forget about the coins. I'm just gonna go straight for it. Oh, wow. They had to put that guy right beside the Bulberry. That's the same dude from Mario Sunshine, right? When you're in that PD Piranha b battle? Yeah, that's the same guy. Oh, wow, Nintendo, <laughs> you sure are jerks when it comes to this, but yeah, usually ghost houses have like the more better secrets, the one that you won't normally find out, like, anytime I do that, ow, get off of me, thank you, all I just had to do was shake the rear mode, I thought I had to jump and then I'll probably let go, but, <laughs> as I should realize, anytime you have a solution in a Wii game, just shake the Wii remote and probably something good will happen. <laughs> But the ghost houses generally, and especially in, like, New Super Mario Bros, they always house the most cl clever secrets of them all. I can't tell you how many ghost houses in New Super Mario Bros series that I have skipped over the star coins. Because they're always put in the most fiendish locations, as well as the secret exits. Oh, man. They're, they're so tricky to find out sometimes, and that may be the case for this, but I'm not too sure. It all depends. All right, then. What does that... Does that- Oh, that takes me to the Hungry Lou. I'm not sure. Should I do that one first? I have enough star bits. Ooh, a Comet Medal. A Prankster Comet has appeared. All right, then. A Prankster Comet has appeared. Could transform a galaxy into a widely different place. Come to think of it, like the lots of those make more comets appear. Oh, yeah, so I was right. Okay, so that is what they do. Hey, bro, I'm all over the place in the universe. So that's kind of cool that you can use Luigi in whatever mission. It's not every single mission, but I guess he appears in whatever mission he feels like showing up for. So if he's afraid of it, then he's like, nope, forget it, Mario can handle this. <laughs> you would think he would be able to jump into that little engine pipe there, but nope. It seriously looks so inviting, like you've got the nice clouds, magical clouds spewing out of it. <laughs> poof, poof. 
roof, but you can't jump into it, unfortunately. I have a thousand one hundred and seventy-nine, so that should be good. Here, Hagerluma, take my excess of lums. Take it! Eat it to your heart's delight until you blow up like a balloon and become even fatter than Blubber himself. <laughs> nice transform! And what type of galaxy are you forming into? It is? Ooh! Now, you see, I never experienced these galaxies before... Because I played Mario 3D Land first, right? So I always assume, you know, that came from Mario 3D Land. But it stemmed from these games. I kind of forgot about that. So this is going to be my first time experiencing one of those. Usually how I remember them in 3D Land was they went by the sound, right? So it's like, dunce, dunce, ding! I think there was a couple in Mario Galaxy, but I can't even remember. Like, the cool thing with uh, Mario 3D Land is they kind of added the whole... Uh, some similar concepts from Mario Galaxy, like when... You know, like those flip switches, when you jump, it flips over to the blue and then it flips back to the red? There were so many pesky ones like that in Mario 3D Land, and what makes it even harder... Wait, what am I doing here? What is the challenge? Am I just getting the starships? It isn't much of a challenge. These guys just form their pathways ahead of me. It's not like, oh, wait, no, there's the challenge. Shadow Mario's. Oh, that's, that's gonna be annoying. Is that seriously a thing in this? A <laughs> Shadow Mario Comet? Well, that wasn't too bad, actually. But there's probably more to this, I could assume. They're just introducing it to you. They're being like, all right, this is what you have to face. Now we'll just amp up the difficulty. <laughs> oh, yep, here they are. All right, I got to make sure not to fail this or I'll plummet right into their faces. Oh, my goodness. Okay, what am I doing here? Am I just collecting more starships or am I trying to just get to the end? All right, I guess it's a little bit of both. Oh, boy. Get away from me, Shadow Marios. Away with you. But as I was saying about 3 Land, like, they implied a lot of concepts there in this one, too, because there was a couple of beat block galaxies, kind of like how there is one there, uh, where you had to go with the beat, and those were really... I'm telling you something about Mario 3 Land. And, of course, they have one more show up to you before you get the star. I'll tell you something about 3 Land. A lot of people don't really like that series, but I'll tell you... What I find is truly great about that game. Try playing that game without the Tanuki Leaf. Try it. It's a vastly different game. I understand the game is designed around it. I understand that. But the thing is, you don't need to grab the power-ups. I don't know why people think it's like a necessity to grab the power-ups. You don't have to in a Mario game. They give you the option at all times. Why don't you try to play the game as regular Mario? Because the thing what I like so much about 3D Land is that they designed the game, yes, for you to have the Tanuki suit, so it makes it easier on yourself. But, they also de designed the game so that it's harder if you lose the Tanuki suit. So it's a punishment if you lose it. So when you do lose it, it's like, oh snap, I really shouldn't have been that careless, right? And they designed the game so that it is completable with regular Mario, but it is challenging. That's the way they designed it, and I love it for it. If you try playing that game without using the Tanuki Leaf Mario, especially that crown level, oh, you are in for some real Mario challenge. Like, you will experience some of the most challenging Marios, even harder than some of the... Uh, Mario Bros. Lost Levels levels. <laughs> the Mario Bros. Lost Levels levels. That should be the sequel. <laughs> it's the return. Super Mario Bros. The Lost Levels. Levels return. <laughs> Alright, so all we gotta do here is just take out all the spinies. This is joyous. I get to get all the revenge that they got on me in the original Mario Bros. I need another star and pronto! Because they were so pesky in the original Mario Bros. I mean, my goodness, the old school Marios, man, the Spinies were so, so annoying. I can't even begin to tell you. And what what really made me hate them was in Mario & Luigi Dream Team. They're enemies, and they have this one attack where they come at you, and you have to kind of move where their formation is not present. So they'll jump to show you the clue, but it's so hard to tell sometimes that you end up picking the wrong one, and I completed it. Yes! Alright! So these Comet Medals aren't too bad. They're definitely different from the previous game. I mean, so far we had a Shadow Mario Comet, we had a Destroy the Enemies Comet. So there's already different ones in this. I, I like this. And it's funny how this is so much more different than um, Mario Galaxy. This prankster, prankster Comets showed up randomly and they would go away. With these, it seems like they stay and... 
you activate them by getting Comet Medals. So, that's what I like about this game is that it's kind of enforcing that whole exploration thing. It kind of keeps that same feel of the Mario 64 without being Mario 64. It's different, and that's what I appreciate so much about this game. It's giving you even more of a reason to explore the galaxies and try to find out those Comet Medals. Just little things, man. I I'm grasping little hints and little things that Nintendo has slipped into these games, and I'm just appreciating it that much more. Thank you for the star bits, by the way. <laughs> was that planet made entirely of star bits, and then I just crash landed it because I was so greedy for star bits? I'm sorry. I didn't mean to damage your home planet. <laughs> it probably had a population of like five, and I just killed all the five people. I'm, I'm, I'm incredibly sorry. I, I, I hope you accept my apologies. I, I didn't mean it. And I hope that you will be enjoy being eaten by the hungry Lula. <laughs> okay, that was pretty cruel. <laughs> Even for my standards. Jesus. But here we go, Daredevil Run and Dig a Leg. This actually is not going to be that bad, so long as I cancel out his little moles. Then I should be fine. <clears throat> oh, you think you're all powerful, huh? Well, even though your music's good, you, sir, are not. Boom! See how quickly you took a damage there? You've got to be more smart about that, dig a leg. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. This is one of my favorite boss themes in the game. I've heard all of them, and this, by far, is just so cool. What I've really liked about Mario is that they've really gone with this jazzy type of fun feel, and I just love that direction that they're going in. Like, it was funny with Mario 64 and Sunshine, you got this whole kind of classical type of arrangement, and then you had... You know, with Sunshine, you had more of a beach kind of theme, and then with this, you get more jazzy fun, and it has continued to be this way, and I like this. This, this suits Mario very, very well. I'm waiting for that, but that's my favorite part of the song. It's like... I love that part, but oh man, that was so close. Okay, okay, okay. I think this should do it. Yes, wait there for me, dig a leg, because I must drill right into your glass. Nice. All right, one more power star for me. Well, we've made some good progress, so we got to experience one new galaxy. <laughs> but we finally found out what the common metals do, and so far they're very intriguing. I like them. They they are. I mean that one that one was one in the previous game. I remember Boulder Guys. How long that took me? My goodness. I hope there's nothing like that in this game. I mean, oh jeez. <clears throat> Galaxy complete. All right, and is this gonna open up more comet medals? You know what? I might just have a video of comet medals, but maybe for later. We'll see what to do. But until then, this is Mario Central signing off.